Well, Qatar's Prime Minister says there have been false reports on negotiations to release Israeli captives in Gaza. The comments were made following talks with France's Foreign Minister. Our correspondent Mohamed Vahl is following that meeting in Doha. And uh, what more can you tell us about these false reports around hostage negotiations? Right. Uh, but there was a question about this uh, put to the uh, spokesman of the foreign ministry, and he uh, did not elaborate. He did not give the details or mention any instances of these reports. But he said that that's not important. The, the type of reports or leaks that have been uh, spread around is not important. But what is important is that any leak, any leak about these negotiations regarding the release of the hostages or uh, so-called hostages, others call them prisoners, is harmful to that cause and should only delay uh, the results that are uh, being looked for. But around this, uh, this question and the discussion about it, uh, it's very clear that the two ministers in this press conference were talking in two different languages. The, the foreign minister, uh, the French foreign minister, insisted on that mantra of condemnation. His, uh, she started with a, a strong condemnation of what happened on October 7 and talked about the the need for immediate and total release of the uh, of the of the hostages she talked about also the need to to make everything possible to prevent an escalation or a widening or a spreading of the conflict in the region so those are apparently the most important points that she insisted on we know that the negotiations uh, understandably, we're talking about something else. Something else has been negotiated in terms of what the Israelis want and what the, uh, the other side want, Hamas wants and so on. But that's not, that hasn't been explained in this press. So what has been talked about is these generalities. But on the Qatari side, we see a different language, different priorities. The Qatari uh, uh, foreign minister insisted on a immediate ceasefire, lasting ceasefire, and also the opening of the Rafah crossing and the channeling of humanitarian aid, not only uh, on a limited scale, but a permanent, in a permanent manner, so that those civilians in Gaza could be, could be helped. So, I mean, there, there is certainly this uh, role of Qatar and, uh, re regarding, the, regarding the negotiations over the hostages and so on. And that, apparently, that is the subject and the, uh, the, 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 the goal of these discussions here between the French and the Qataris. But the generalities are what have been talked about in the press, uh, the need for those points to be discussed. And they are being discussed. And the two sides seem to be in agreement that civilians should be spared, should not be killed. The French foreign minister talked about that. But she, she did not condemn the killing of 10,000 civilians in Gaza. She didn't talk about the indiscriminate killing mm. by the Israeli side. She was very soft on the Israeli side and very strong on Hamas. Okay. Thank you so much for that. That's Mohamed Val for us in Doha.